guys, just popping in. I just made some breakfast smoothies for me and the mister. His, we both have the same base, but I just added in some uh, berry mix. Let me see. This right here, some triple berry. I added that in to his. And then we both have pineapple chunks, strawberry, uh, strawberry yogurt, honey, and almond milk. So, this is about to be our breakfast or a little snack before we get something to eat for later for lunch. We didn't want anything heavy, so just made these to have something refreshing while we did a little work around the house and relax at the same time. So, it's a good quick option of something to have for breakfast or a snack. Okay guys, so we are in American Thrift Store. I always just stop by these stores just to kind of see what I can see when I have the feeling to just drop in. I tend to just pop in, but I didn't find anything today. I've seen a few things that I like, but to me, the prices that I was coming across were the same price that I can find in the store with the items brand new. So that's the only thing when you're thrifting, you have to kind of know the price range or a roundabout price of an item because a lot of these plants I can find brand new for the prices that I saw. So that was a little bit disappointing, but it's all in the name of thrifting. You're gonna sometimes find something and sometimes you may not. So. This particular store, to me, had things priced a little bit higher than I thought they were worth for it to be secondhand stuff or donated items. Um, I really was looking at some dishes and uh, plates and serving ware, things like that. But to me, again, the price was not right for me, so... I just kind of browsed and seen, you know, everything that they had to offer. I thought these mugs were cute. They were like $1.99. I love the print on them. I debated for quite some time about if I were going to get them or not, but I ended up not getting them. As well as this canister to match. I thought it can go well for like sugar, uh, creamer, tea, something like that for like a coffee bar or station. Even here you see where I stacked the glasses. <laughs> Some other ones that I saw. Because I was thinking about that look for my coffee station. But I ended up passing on those as well. So um, I always tend to look at the glassware and serving wear Because you can pretty much guarantee you'll see something unique or a good find in that area. But I'm going to just finish browsing through the store and see what else we can see.
Something to say to everybody who wear, wear whatever I want. Dressed in a gown, everybody's like, why are you going nowhere special? Just going to the store. I think I'd have it all. Tell you why I've been more. Picking the plate, being the plate. She is unruly. Never seen her like this. Didn't think it existed, no, truly. Don't get in the way. She's not here to play. She'll get moved. Take this girl for being me Cause these are dream rules This is someone else I'm not myself, no, no mm -hmm. Cause these are dream rules This is someone else I'm not myself, no, no drop-ins and um, I wanted to pick up and show y'all what I picked up from the store I went by Aldi Walmart Target and Walgreens okay so I'm gonna show you everything I grabbed and picked up so be right back okay guys these are the items that I picked up I'm going to run through them really quick show you what I got I told you a few videos back that I've been shopping at Aldi more so in that process I'll be trying different things to kind of see how we like them so I picked up these crackers they kind of remind you of Ritz crackers but I guess their brand definitely wanted to try those because they were like a dollar and fifty cents lower than what I would pay for Ritz got some apples bananas 
picked up some butter, some American cheese, orange juice. We love this orange juice from Aldi. I got some almond milk. Picked up some croutons and some of their sweet peach and sweet pineapple uh, wine from Aldi. So these are the things that I grabbed from Aldi. And then over here, these are the things I got from Walmart. I picked up some turkey meat, some eggs, some thick sliced bologna, some extra large shrimp. I got some mild cheddar cheese, pineapple chunks, picked up some cream cheese, Chips Ahoy cookies and Oreo cookies. I picked up some butter extract and almond flavor extract. Some assorted herbal tea. Some cake flour. Some coffee creamer. Some caramel macchiato coffee creamer. And some Milo's extra sweet sweet tea. So these are the things I picked up from the grocery store. So I'm gonna get these things put up and I'll be right back. Okay, y'all, I got all of my groceries put away. Um, and I wanted to show y'all what I found at Target and Target and what is the other store I said I went to? Walgreens. So the Target um dollar spot, they had these turn tables here. Pretty big. <laughs> So I have been wanting some of these. So I picked the I picked two of these up. I may go back and get a few more because there's so many places that I need to organize and um, have them accessible to turn like this. So this was five dollars. A rotating storage tray from the Target dollar spot. And then I picked up, I was looking for something else in Target. What was I looking for? Something to put my sugar in for my coffee um, area. But I hadn't found exactly what I wanted yet, so I'm probably gonna order something off Amazon. Um, but this is something else I grabbed. This like bottle. Man, I can't remember how much it was now. But I picked this up from Target. I feel like it was like a couple of dollars. But I thought it was cool. I can fit water, fruit, ice, large ice cubes in here I can you know uh, take this with me and carry it with me while I'm going on a walk or um, to work or just out and about so I grabbed that and then I got some Walgreens have their Arm & Hammer um, liquid detergent buy two get one free or buy one get two free don't quote me I know I paid $7.49 for three. Um, any three of the Arm & Hammer detergents in a certain size. So that sale goes on from now until the first, I believe. So I picked up six of these. I normally get them for $1.99 a piece, but I missed that sale that they had a couple of weeks ago. So I figured I'll get a few of these since it's still better than the normal $7.50 that they are per bottle so i picked up six of these this is the washing powder that we use majority of the time so um i'm always happy to get it when it's on sale okay so <laughs> so yeah so those are the things i grabbed in my voyage today i have been out and about kind of running errands um for the bulk half of the day so I'm ready to kind of unwind, chill, and uh, maybe I have me a drink of this wine. I don't know. <laughs> but um, just wanted to pop in and show y'all what I picked up. Also, my Walmart experience was um, really nice. I don't know about you, but a lot of the Walmarts um, post-pandemic went to mainly self-checkout. And so... Today, I had an associate ask me once I walked up to the register because I was about to do the self checkout. So they were like, Would you like me to check you out over here, ma'am? Of course, I would love for you to check me out and I not have to do it myself. 
and they were very pleasant so that was a beautiful surprise so um it's just been so different not having to communicate with you know associates in the store so it was nice to have a conversation with the guy and for them to check out my groceries and bag them up for me so that was uh, a pleasant surprise i don't know about y'all but hey if i don't have to check out my own groceries i'd rather them do it but so I thought that was nice. So they made my grocery experience, grocery shopping experience even better. Because I don't really like to go in Walmart. But hey, some things I prefer to pick up from there. So you have to do what you have to do. Okay. So yeah, I'm going to put up my detergent and wipe down my counters and such. And um, I guess I'll check back in with y'all later. I'm hoping what I said could make you change your mind Though it doesn't really matter when my hands are tied I'm trying to walk across the bridges that I burned My only way to you is gone, the tide has turned So give me a light, show me what I need Okay guys, I finally got a chance to show you my bar cart. This particular bar cart was a gift to us and I have been meaning to show you its style for quite some time now. So here it is. <laughs> it was pretty pretty full of just different types of liquor and wine before I got it all nice neat and clean the way that it is now so I wanted to just show you how I have it styled I have only three particular liquors I have two white and a brown and then I have a different variety of wines and then I have some sparkling water and some uh, seltzers along with some faux lemons inside of this basket and I, I just love how it came together I placed some of our um, margarita bottles and champagne flutes to um, kind of go with the theme of the cart and then I added a pop of flowers on top to bring it all together so I'm really pleased on how it came out and I just wanted to share this piece of um, decor with you that I have in our dining room area and yeah I really like how it turned out so 